Thank you to Parade for sponsoring today's video. Hear me out. I think bras are very uncomfortable. And if you have the same feeling towards bras, I have finally found us the perfect bralette and it's from Parade. I've had a long history of hating bras and I've struggled to find bralettes that fit and support my needs. On top of that, I really hate going bra shopping, but then it's even harder trying to find your size when you're just blindly ordering online. Luckily, Parade has a find your bra size quiz so I can find my size literally without having to leave my bed. I am currently wearing the Luminous Glow Triangle Bralette. I love the adjustable straps and the ruched chest band. It's all the comfort of a sports bra, but the fit and support for everyday wear. Parade works with their community to get real-time feedback, to make sure their products fit various body types, and ensuring that they're making items that people will genuinely love. They have sustainable, creative basics from size extra small to 3XL and affordable prices. I'm talking sustainable underwear starting at $8. Not only are their fabrics extremely comfortable, but they're also high quality and sustainable. Like Replay, which is made from recovered fabric scraps, usually wasted in manufacturing and recycled into new ultra soft, ultra cooling material. So join the parade. I have everything linked for you down below and you can check out Parade's sustainable creative basics and comfy styles and espresso colors. Hi, welcome back to my channel. So I am still, still here in Florida, but now I'm in my hometown, the home of the Gators, Gainesville, Florida, and we're just thrifting today. It's a really rainy, drizzly day. The rain finally stopped, so I figured ooh, now was a good time to go. It's been a while since I have been home um, and have thrifted here. The last time that I thrifted, I found like this really cool racing jacket, like a Chevrolet, I don't know, it was a cool leather, bomber type jacket so i'm really hoping to find something cool like that today we are at outreach i think it's called outreach thrift store i also found burberry sunglasses here so i'm really excited to see what all we can find today be sure to subscribe it really supports my channel and don't forget to follow me over on instagram let's head on in and see what we can find i'm wearing the puffer vest that i found last week let's see what else we find I always get really nervous filming here because I'm scared that I'm gonna see somebody that I know or that I grew up with. Like in LA, there's like a 2% chance that I'll run into somebody that I know, but here that chance is very high and I just get nervous. So, let's just do this. As you can see, walking in right off the bat, they had a great selection of leather jackets. They also had a couple of pairs of fabulous cowboy boots, none of which really seemed to be my size, but still so fabulous I had to share. They definitely varied in pricing. Like I loved the coloring of this pair, but they were like $375. Um, I'm now thinking that maybe they had been like alligator boots, which is why they were marked so high. And then there was this pair, which was only $35 but they look like they would have been a little narrow and a little too snug. I found a pair of UGG sneakers. They were $50 um, and I actually found a similar pair on their site for around 120, so not bad because they were definitely in decent condition, but they were a size seven and I am size nine, so it just wouldn't have worked. All right, so back to the leather jackets on that rack. I think I just got distracted by all the shoes. There was the express jacket. Clearly the leather was very worn, so I did pass. There were a couple of great vintage ones right behind it, and then this beauty queen. Only $30, the leather was buttery, and I love the zip front. It was a size small, so I immediately tried it on because I was actually nervous it would be too small, but no, we were clearly meant to find each other.
So the entire men's denim, unfortunately, this was all the denim that was in my size. But the pricing is great. They had a lot of Wranglers and Levi's for only $7.95, plus green tags for 50% off. Alright, so my thought behind this belt is that there's like this predicted trend or maybe it's a current trend of belting, single belting, double belting, or just layering your belt over top, like not even using the belt loops. So that was kind of my thought while I was checking out this fun belt, but it was definitely too small to fit around my hips, so I put it back. Um, I just found my dream jacket. 
Is it massive? Yes. Does it weigh like 10 pounds? Yes. I'm going to have to wear this on the airplane home because it's going to add like 15 pounds to my luggage. I can't even begin to tell you how many times when I come across a jacket similar to this, I have saved a photo, but just in hopes that one day I would find it. Dreams really do come true. I am obsessed with this jacket. I love it so much. I need, I do need to get it dry clean. There's a couple of things. I just feel like getting this clean will just be so it'll just look really refreshed but she's so pretty it's american leather a 2xl so she big she's thick she's heavy only 35 dollars and online like this is like a 300 dollars jacket <laughs> this was worth walking into the store i almost left after i found it like there's really no other point in looking like this was it let's just go home but i did continue to look and i found some other pieces i found another leather jacket this one is unlike any other leather jacket that i have it's funny i think like two years ago me was denim jacket queen anytime i came across a denim jacket i had to have it oddly enough it's like leather and it doesn't have to be leather now like a leather faux leather something in that um, vicinity but this is genuine leather it's by casual corner it was a size small so i wasn't really sure if it was going to fit but i actually love the way that it fits i don't have a lot of actual fitted jackets um a lot of them like oversized and baggy but this one oh she's so pretty and i love that it's like a zip up like such a 90s like a classic 90s leather jacket this one was 30 dollars, 29.95 this location is my favorite spot for jackets like just come here go through the jackets you're going to find amazing i i left a lot of amazing pieces so if you're in the area or near gainesville please come here and pick them up because they deserve a good home um i did end up leaving that longer leather it's not really a trench but it was like a blazer knee length blazer just because i knew i was going to get those and i have something similar but it's not a leather material it's just very similar and i think it was like 24 to 30 dollars and so i held back so someone please go run to the store and pick it up, take a photo of you in it and tag me. I wanna see you rocking it. Okay, what else did I find? Yes, I did grab this sweater. I just think these little cardigan knits are very cute, like half buttoned, fully buttoned, paired with some denim, just kind of a casual look. It was only $2.95. I'm still a sucker for like flannels and plaid and it's been a while since I bought one, so I grabbed this one. $5.95. Finally, I found this adorable scarf. I told you guys, I think it was in the last video or so that I was looking for one of those mini sleek scarves from like late 90s, early 2000s. This is very Lindsay Lohan and her Juicy Couture matching sweatsuit, um, but I think it's just kind of cute to throw with an outfit. You could wear this in the spring too, with like a tank top or whatever in the winter to keep you warm i thought it was cute um this was half off it was three march 350 but green tags were half off which is always a good day boots gator wear jackets this is this is the gem come come to this location there is one other store i want to hit that i did the last time i was here i think it's called like flashbacks or something like that um so i'm gonna look that up we'll head there peruse quickly and see if there's anything else that we find. Someone just pulled up next to me, so I'm gonna turn my camera off now, bye. I was done growing up Had enough of chasing down the sun But suddenly I can see everything
Flashbox is one of those stores that it's really fun to just take your time and look around like you don't know what you're gonna find and they have the coolest pieces hanging up they tend to be more of the pricier pieces but I think some of the coolest um, and then they just have all kinds of like jewelry and older knickknacks and that is where I found my old vintage camera that I didn't see any this time um, I was hoping I would but I did find a shirt. I walked out with the Harley Davidson bedazzled long sleeve tee. I don't know it's very uh, 2000s but I just think it's kind of fun. Bejeweled, bedazzled and it was $9.99. Prices definitely vary a lot in that store. It's definitely a mix of like modern and vintage and their vintage items aren't priced that bad um like that mickey's vintage tea i think was like 16.99 17.99 not bad compared to other um things that i've seen um so it's really fun it's a fun spot to look through uh, but i also got two rings i guess i was just feeling the vibe with the harley davidson but they're like these skull rings there is definitely like a punk goth side to me that I don't let out that often, but I think it's kind of fun. I lost a lot of my jewelry in that bag that the airline lost, so just randomly finding things that I think are fun. So there we go. Some rings, a cool shirt, tons of nice jackets, pretty sweet spot. But that is it. Thank you guys so much for coming along with me on this thrifting adventure. Don't forget to subscribe. It really supports my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Seriously, every time. Every time I finish, there's a car that's pulling up right next to me. Okay, love you. Bye.